No, thank you much. Uh, subject I can talk for hours on, but I know I only got like 10 minutes, so I'll keep it short. Uh, and I know this church is very much familiar with as well on its substance abuse. Uh, what the Overcomers is right now is a 90-day residential recovery program. Uh, we main, mainly focus with Native American men, but we take any uh, the men that come in. And we're trying and we're working on what we've been on the road for uh, these last eight weeks because we're trying to go from 90 days to a full year, and we want to do it on a ranch. Uh, we want to teach these guys, you know, you know, some skills, you know, livestock handling, with solar energy, stuff along that line there, things where they can find employable skills. But the most important thing, of course, is to show them that unconditional love uh, that comes. Um, I was an addict myself for over 10 years, and uh, it was only it's only by the grace of God I'm still I'm, I'm only alive. I should be, by all rights, I should be dead. Uh but 30 years ago, uh, God showered his grace upon me and showed up in my jail cell, and it ain't nothing been the same since. Uh, so uh, I'm just grateful for that. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm just uh, not anybody special. I just said yes when God asked. And that's all he ever asked of us is, is to be willing. And the ranch we're looking at is 40 acres. Uh, we're going to be able to, like I said, raise our own livestock raise our own crops, do uh, greenhouse growing. We want to become as self-sufficient as we possibly can. But also in the process, like I said, show these guys what it is like to walk with Christ. So hopefully, if we do our job right, they'll come face to face with him. And that truly is the only thing that changes us, is that face to face with him. Because speaking in the vernacular of an addict, uh, there is no better high than that which you get from the Holy Spirit because it doesn't ever go away. <laughs> it doesn't ever go away. Uh, and it's true, like I said, is what changes us. And uh, it's really needed out right there now. This year, and I'm sure it's been for everybody, has been tough. Been just, I mean, we have not been able to run a program this year because of COVID. Uh, couldn't even get into the jails to see any of the guys to interview them all year long because they had it shut down. Right now, the state of New Mexico... Last we heard is shut down for the next two or three weeks. I know we're, like I said, we're, we've been gone for eight weeks. We're not sure what we're going to get into when we get home yet. Uh, but uh, we're hoping and planning. And the reason being is the mission itself where we've been operating on for the last 15 years is expanding, and they need the room that we're using. Uh, we use their buildings and stuff like that there. They uh, want us off the grounds by the end of next year. So we need to find our own facility. And that's where God is leading, uh, leading us to, to find the property. Uh, it's in the little plot area. It is exactly everything that uh, God has shown us. Uh, 29 years ago when I walked out of uh, State Penitentiary, he gave me this vision. So I've carried it around with me for a very, very long time. And it's becoming to, beginning to become realization. And we, a couple of, several weeks back, we were both laying in bed and, Bonnie looked over and says, this is going to happen, and it just all of a sudden hit us. I was like, yeah, it is. It's kind of scary. Uh, but it's something that I've carried with us, carried with me for so long in wanting to uh, to help those guys because, like I said, this year has been tough. Out there in Farmington, they've had 11 suicides this year. Four of them were teenagers. And it's not that the COVID killed them, but the isolation did. It's the worst thing is, as an addict, the worst thing you can do is isolate, and we've been forced to isolate. Two weeks before we went on the road, we had to bury three of our past guys. I buried three friends in, in two-week time. Two of them were three days apart, and um, I'm really getting tired of burying my friends, and that's what the ranch is all about. we got all kinds of information back out there. Like I said, we're on the road. Uh, we're looking to raise... 300,000 guys that God has blessed us beyond anything we can imagine this year already, or just since we've been on the road. Uh, we're just right around 60,000. Uh, and uh, talking to some realtor friends of ours that we might even be able to get the property for under 200,000 if we if we work it and you know, walk with cash. And we honestly believe that God's going to provide everything we need at that moment. For 15 years, we, we joke about it. We live on a day, our daily bread budget. Whatever we need today, God provide today. 
and then tomorrow shows up and it happens to be there again. That's just a, like I said, I wouldn't advise anybody to run a business this way. Uh, but for 15 years, God has done that for us. And it's, it's built it our, you know, grew our faith so immensely over these years. We honestly believe, we don't know how it's going to come. I don't know where it's going to come from, but we honestly believe that the cash we need when we go to purchase this land is going to be there for us. God's going to have it for us. I got no doubt in my mind uh, because that's just the way he's worked over these last 15 years. Uh, and this is what we want to teach these guys on the ranch is how to walk by faith because as, when you're in recovery, that's the only way out of it is you got to walk by faith because you got no idea what's coming tomorrow. And the thing about it, you know, an addiction is nothing more than a coping mechanism. When life hits you square in the face, when the life gets tough, we go back to that, whether it's alcohol, whether it's drugs, whether it's food, pornography, work, whatever it is, what we run to to cope with daily problems, that's what the addiction is. And we need to take away that and replace it with the only one that's going to make a difference, and that's with Christ. And uh, that's why, you know, the, the name of the ranch is Hope and Redemption. Hope and Redemption Ranch. Because we want to give hope to those who've lost it. And we want to show a way of, uh, that there is, a, there is a chance for those who feel themselves to be irredeemable. I don't know how any of you have been there, but I've been there. And when you get into that, when you get to that point, it's a very short step to just say there's no sense in going to tomorrow. So it's, it's a dark place to be. And uh, something that hit me just the other night, uh, we was talking with friends of ours, and it just, and this is the way I look at it is, in the vernacular of uh, the Titanic, I was I was given a life preserver. And it's for me to jump out of, he actually drag somebody else in the boat and jump out into the water. I've, I've been given the life preserver. It's time to give it to somebody else. And that's what, that's what the ranch is all about. And I said, we got information back here. We can answer any questions afterwards. We got a website and everything else. But thanks for giving that opportunity. <laughs>